Hey everyone, it's Walker at Full Spectrum Laser and welcome to In The Cut where we just watch the laser do its thing on different kinds of materials across different kinds of applications and all the different machines that we offer. Today we are doing a American flag on some quarter inch plywood. We do wood a lot but mix it up a bit with some masking tape and I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on using masking tape and using plywood. So here's the design. There we go. And uh, you can see there's different vector marks. We're going to do a marking to cut through the tape and then a red to cut the actual flag out. So let's get it started. Now when using masking tape or uh, even cutting paper, you want to be careful that nothing gets blown out of, you know, out of the actual area. Sometimes you can actually blow a piece of material and get in the way of the laser cutting and then it ruins the cut. You have to run it again. That's not good. So if you want to and you have a pro and you're doing masking tape and fine details, you see they're blowing away, then you can lower the actual air pressure with an accessory that came with your machine that controls the uh, uh, air compressor itself. Remember, CO2 lasers are great at cutting wood. You'll see lots of wood projects, and they're not the same, nor is wood itself. You can buy the same plywood from the same exact place, same exact supplier, and it cut just a little differently. In fact, last week I cut uh, a piece of plywood and another piece of plywood that had a totally different power setting, and it was burning from the same power setting that I used previously. So you have to think about glue and the amount of layers and what's going on with the different plywoods themselves. The best part about using masking tape is later I can take those pieces off individually and hit them with paint. Now something like this 
would take red, white, and blue, obviously, but I'm not gonna use white. I only need to use the red and the blue, and I'm gonna keep the wood as the white. So I'm just gonna individually take those pieces off, paint them red, and then with the blue, I'm gonna do the same, except I'm gonna put those pieces of masking tape back on so the red doesn't get any blue in it. Now with wood and all its inconsistencies, I like to always check to see if it's actually cut out. So you'll see me at the end of this video put my hand on the project and then move the rest of the wood, making sure that it cut all the way through. And there we have it. In six minutes, you have a little American flag anybody would be proud of. Now, I hope you guys had a great Veterans Day. I'm gonna paint this. I'm gonna put it on our social media, Facebook, Instagram, if you wanna see what it's like, uh, what it's gonna look like nice and painted. If, um, if not, and you're not watching this live, then it will be at the end of the video. And until next time, keep making.